Well, guys, I'm super excited to present this week's segment of the Market Day Report because, as you know, if you saw episode 42 of Rice Farming TV, I was live in studio at the RFD headquarters in Nashville, Tennessee. So I want to jump straight into it. Here is the anchor, Janet Atkinson. Good afternoon, and thanks for watching the Market Day Report. I'm Janet Atkinson. Some farmers believe it's definitely becoming more increasingly important to share their farming practices and educate the general public. Matthew Slager of Rice Farming TV is one such farmer. Follow him as he visits a third grade class in Sacramento. I have some extremely intelligent questions about California rice from some very special students that I want to share and discuss with you. And of course, this segment continues with the airing of episode 40 of Rice Farming TV, in which I field questions from a third grade class about anything from YouTubing to rice production. If you haven't checked out that episode, please do so at the link below. Otherwise, let's jump straight in to the live interview there in studio in Nashville, Tennessee at RFD TV. Check it out. Well, host Matt Slager is actually joining us here in studio today, taking some time away from his operation back in Gridley, California. Matt, thanks for joining us. It's nice to meet you in person, by all means. Yeah, great to meet you too, Janet. It's awesome to be here. Thank you. So, first of all, how did you come across this opportunity to connect with students that we just saw? Well, I just thought it was super important to connect with students because they're so inquisitive and they had such great questions. Actually, this episode is about 14 minutes long and I just couldn't fit it uh, for this package here today. Uh, but they just had such great questions and I reached out to the teacher and she reached out to me because they were actually showing the episodes in class before I actually went up there. How cool is that? And doing yeah. exactly what you would hope to do when you launch this whole thing. Yeah, absolutely. Using it as a learning material and that's exactly what the mission statement of Rice Farming TV is, so it's really special. Now, the paperwork question was interesting. So once the crop is harvested, it's not done. No, it's not done, yeah. We need to, of course, sell it. Uh -huh. And that's, for me, the most interesting part because we need to know about markets. We need to know about foreign relations, uh, weather, what's happening in other rice producing states. Mm -hmm. But back to that question, I mean, wasn't that such an intellectual question from so. a third grader? I mean, yeah. the, I, I think some people might think that there, I mean, there were the cute questions, like what kind of animals do you like and things like that. But these were some really adult questions, which just impressed me. Very much so. Now, also, of course, uh, in the video, you also talked about the size of your farm. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, the, the spread, so to speak, and what you're seeing. And also, now that you're in Tennessee this week, you're probably seeing a little bit of different terrain. Yeah, absolutely. We just got in late last night, mm -hmm. so we definitely are looking forward to exploring the city later today. Um, but right now, on our farm, the rice is in cruise control, mm -hmm. a beautiful green. Um, there's not many weeds, and uh, we're just really preparing the harvest equipment getting ready for harvest, of course, taking a little R&R &R yeah. right now to mentally prepare ourselves for harvest. When does harvest typically start in California? Well, we're a little bit late this year because of okay. those late spring rains, right? But usually we're going to try to get into the fields mid-August. Mm -hmm. uh, this year it might be late, early September. Now, I also want to point out that although the crop's in the ground, it's growing, and you, as you said, it's kind of on cruise control, there's still other things that have to be done as you get ready for harvest and getting the equipment ready, because it's been, you know, sitting on the sidelines for a while. Absolutely, absolutely. We have to get those combines ready, uh, the bank outs ready, the trucks mm -hmm. and trailers ready. Everything needs to get ready. We just want to do a lot of preventative maintenance so mm -hmm. that we can avoid any breakdowns during harvest, because once the combines or harvesters start, we do not want them to start, stop. Yeah, you don't, and you don't want anything but Mother Nature, and sometimes she's pretty sneaky on things. So. Yes, and we're going to be a little bit worried about that yeah. because of these late rains in spring, we might run into some fall rains this year. All right. Well, thank you very much for sitting down with us, and we're going to continue this conversation. How about? Awesome. Thank you. Well, again, we have been talking with Rice Farming TV's Matt Slager. He is the host of the show, joining us here on set in our RFD TV studio. Be sure to stay tuned as we sit back down with Matt in our next half hour. Guys, I can't express how much fun that was, how comfortable I felt at RFD TV studios. Clara and Elena were there supporting me. They were taken well care of. It was certainly one of the highlights of our trip. So I want to give a special thanks to the RFD TV team, um, everyone involved, and all the new friends at the studio they had met there. Uh, you guys do an awesome job, and we really enjoyed our time in Nashville. So thanks for the tips.
And thanks to you guys out there for watching. And just so you know, I did a second live interview later that day. I'll have that uploaded shortly so you can check it out. It's more about me urging other farmers to start sharing their stories on their farm with the general public, as I'm doing with Rice Farming TV. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day.